Desiree, and we are here with day 12 of the Christmas series for 2022. And this time I am featuring Paper Rose. And for this today's project, I'm going to be using the Christmas Poinsettia Flourish die set along with the Merry Christmas script stamp, uh, which is this right here. Um, loved the font on this. So I've as always, taking care of the die cutting. And I'm going to be using some non-traditional colors here, meaning not the normal red and green, <clears throat> gold and silver or blue. I'm going to be using grays and iridescent cardstocks, um, some reds and pinks and very light greens for the poinsettias that are going to be layered um, and so on. So the base for this card is actually... Uh, an ivory, um, but kind of like a darker ivory. It's got like a gray tint to it. And I'm going to stamp the sentiment first. I did use some of the flourish pieces to know, okay, this is how I want this laid out. So I knew where to put my sentiment. This time I remembered to get the sentiment down first because usually I forget and it would have been really tough to get that in there after all of this was up on the card. This is going to be a standard A2 size card base. Um, or card, which is four and a quarter by five and a half. Um, so yeah, it would have just been really tough. I'm going to use my double-sided tape to get this panel up onto my card base. And this panel is actually cut to four by five and a quarter. So I'll have a nice white border going around uh, this design panel from my card base. I'm going to work on my layers. So there's three layers to this poinsettia. I grabbed my mode lawn and a small blending brush, and I'm just going in the center, just adding a little bit of that green shade. So it's not going to be too dark. For the center layer, I'm using worn lipstick. And again, I'm just going in the center. That's where most of my color is going to sit right into the center of these images and then for the final layer the largest i'm going to be using aged mahogany um and i'm going to come from the outside in so a lot of the color is going to be on the outside when it first hits now it will look like the center is getting darker but that's because i'm hitting off of each point um, but i wanted to make sure that these were just these were really dark but not obnoxiously dark. Um, I, I wanted that hint of red. And you can see that first one, you know, I was kind of testing it out. And these, these next ones, you can tell I'm putting more ink to get that color darker. Because I want that to be as if the, the, the poinsettia is changing. Because poinsettias do that. Um, poinsettia is a plant. It's not a flower. Believe it or not. And the green leaves turn into the color whether it's a red poinsettia or a pink or the white with the green center um the, the green actually turns into that color so they're actually the poinsettia of what we call the flower is actually the leaves that turn color which is it's really fascinating i'm taking every time there's a layered floral and yes i just called this a floral a flu we'll call it a floral plant I must twist and bend the paper. It's just something that I do. Um, I think I got that from those dies from Spellbinders. And yes, I'm going, I don't even want to say her name because I'm going to make, I'm not going to say it correctly. And I do not want to do that to her. Um, she does beautiful work with dies. She designs them. Um, and she just, she bends and she twists this paper and they look real. Um, and that's what I do to these. So after I take my paper creaser and turn it away from me, I take my stylus and I then, you know, push down into the center. Now I use a stylus. You could use the, the round end of a pen. You could also use your pen to turn those pieces back. You do not need to have the fancy tools. This glue here is what I use for any time I am creating a layered floral slash plant. There you go. That's what we'll say. Um, 
It's very thick. It's called Beacon's Choice, Kids Choice Glue. I get it from Amazon. Um, and it's just super thick. So when I take each of these layers and just put it in there, they're actually sitting on top of each other. Once I have these layers put together, I will come in with my stylus, or again, your rounded pen, and I will just push. And you can see these petals just come up. Um, and what's happening is that glue is, is seeping out from where I'm pushing, but it stays there. It doesn't drip out. It doesn't ooze out. And when it dries, it's this thick barrier, and it holds the shape of those those florals they don't go anywhere they do not flat like I'm, I'm pushing on these florals right now and they are just bouncing back because you have that thick glue in there I love this glue highly recommend it again I get mine from Amazon um, and again I do have an Amazon storefront so if anybody I have it broken out in different segments so if you guys wanted to check out those are the things that are my favorites um, I've had that there for a while and I've mentioned it before, but again, that's where that is listed. I always die cut more than what I need. And those two that will be left, they will go into, I have a, a container, a big pot container where I put all my extra die cuts and then I just pull from them and make other cards. I'm adding the flourishes around. Um, to just fill this in and I'm only tacking certain areas of the flourishes because I do like the fact that they're loose they're they're bending up just a little bit um, to create even more texture and is not so you know flat and before and it grabs quickly that glue but it doesn't dry quickly so I'm able to lift these flowers and, and manipulate them <laughs> That's the beauty of it, too. And that there is what the setup looks like. So you can see why I put the sentiment in there first. I'm going to add some pearls to the center of the poinsettias, and I'm going to add some pearls um, around the outside just to fill in some areas. And that is our card. So different colors. Um... But it falls in line. There are poinsettias that are white and pink. And that's what I was envisioning when it came to that card. Hope you enjoyed day 12. The products that I used will be listed down below as long as they're still available. But I encourage you, dig into your stash. Look at the techniques that I used here and apply them to your card making style. Have fun with it. Or create the card that I create here um, and enjoy. If you have any questions, make sure you leave those down below as well, and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. If you haven't yet, hit that subscribe button, hit the thumbs up. If you just stopped by to spend this little bit of time with me today, I say thank you, and I appreciate it. And to all of my subscribers currently, I am truly grateful for you too. So thank you so much. Enjoy, but remember what is still most important to me. Always be creative, and I'll see you at day 13.